hey hi my name is Annette welcome or welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be talking about the Sweden job seeker visa so if you are someone that is interested in going to Sweden to look for a job to start a business this video is definitely for you so I'm Nigerian and I can tell you doing business in Nigeria is not you know the business environment is not very conducive right and there is high unemployment rate and I can also like say that about some other African countries and even some other countries in the world as well that are actually struggling with unemployment so if you're looking at exploring you know Sweden they are giving you the opportunity yeah to go to Sweden without a job offer yes you get to go to Sweden to look for a job on this visa so if you're interested in knowing more about the requirements and some other information i encourage you to stick around so welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by to watch and if you're new here you are welcome so please do well to subscribe to my channel subscription is absolutely free turn on your notifications so whenever i post a video you know you get to see it if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up thank you thank you so much so let's get started what are the requirements what do you need yeah to get started on this visa first and foremost you need your international passport like there is no way you want to travel that you won't need an international passport and it has to be valid so i will encourage you if you are going there for say on like a nine months visa ensure that your international passport is valid for at least two years you know or more do you get like it has to be valid for the duration that you are there it's not that you are going there for like say on a nine months visa and your international passport is just valid for like five months like it's not gonna work do you get so as much as you can try and get a valid international passport secondly you know you have to be outside sweden obviously <laughs> it's a visa for people that are outside sweden so you have to be outside sweden to apply for the job seeker visa right so like i said earlier this visa is for people that are looking for a job you are going there to look for a job you don't even have a job offer yet so that's what's fantastic about it so like some visa they'll tell you oh like you need to have a job before you can come in this visa is giving you the opportunity to actually come in without a job so you are coming there to look for a job or to start a business you know depending on what applies to you so and number three i'm actually saying this in no particular order so number three you have to be financially stable so that means that you have you have to have the capacity to take care of yourself while you are in sweden for the duration you know you are going there you don't have a job offer yet right you are going there to look for a job so they expect you to be financially capable of taking care of yourself all through the period you know you are going to look for a job and eventually get one do you get when you go to a foreign land you know you need to look for where to stay very important and you have to feed do you get so those things are very very important they expect you to be able to take care of those things so that you won't come there and you know be a liability in general you get me right <laughs> so and number four is that you have to have you know an advanced level of education do you get um either you have a master's degree or you have you know some sort of a phd some sort of you know certification you know skilled people they're looking for skilled people i mean like they have their shortage occupation list so you can just go online do your research and stuff like that in general you know um for instance people in it they are well sought after people in health you know and you know some other um areas like that just ensure that you do your research and if you know that you have you know the qualification to get started on this one you have to just plug in if you are looking forward to moving to sweden yeah so you need an advanced level of education so and number five you need a comprehensive health insurance like these people don't joke they don't joke with you know health insurance so you have to you know um have a comprehensive health insurance that is valid in sweden so very very important yeah your comprehensive health insurance is important and yeah let's move on to the documents that you need like i said these are 
people that expect you to be highly skilled you need to have an advanced level of education so of course they expect you to have a certificate yeah so um, your master's degree certificate your PhD you know your university your transcript and you also have to give them the consent to be able to contact those schools yes yeah, so because they're going to confirm you can't just bring any form of certificate and you expect them to just you know take it hook line and sink i know they were going to confirm your certificate as well so they are going to give them the consent to confirm your certificate then also you're going to be showing them a comprehensive health insurance like i stated earlier you're going to be needing your um, bank statements because i said you have to be able to take care of yourself during the period that you are going to be in this country so they expect you to have your bank statements right um then also um there are some fees that you have to pay of course you have to pay for your visa fee you're going to pay for visa fees so um it's part of um the the requirements that you need to show you pay for your visa fee and you know um there's some documents as well that are not in english or in sweden you have to translate them into sweden or english language do you get maybe if you are from is French speaking country or from other countries you get me right so you have to be able to translate your certificate into what they understand so basically these are the things that you need to you know um, the documents that you need to get the job seeker visa. moving on to proof of funds the amount you're going to be needing will vary depending on the visa you are getting if you're getting a three month visa the amount of money you're going to be um, needing for states for your statement of account is going to be different from someone that is getting a nine month visa do you get so the least amount of money you can put in for your proof of funds is um, 1200 us dollars while the highest you can go for is um, 10,300 us dollars and this visa is usually for a period of three months to nine months do you get so i mean like they're giving you the opportunity to stay in their country for nine months to look for a job and if you know what you're doing if you like already put your strategies in place you know um know what you want to do you're going to you know get there you know just see the way things are if it's possible for you to reach out to people so that as soon as you're getting there you are getting a job and another thing is that if you're on this visa you can't bring in your family members so clearly you don't have a job yet so but when you come into the country and you get a job then you can you know bring your family into the country and you guys are gonna be staying together as one happy family so i'm going to be mentioning as well it's the fact that um if you don't get a job you know within the three to nine months period you have to return back to your country sadly you know because um if you don't have a job and your visa would have expired or is going to expire do you get so um that's why it's important you have to go prayerfully you have to go strategically and you have to go there knowing you know the reason why you are there and do aggressive you know um job search but i hope this video made sense if you have you know questions regarding this visa i'll be here to answer you and um, yeah thank you so much for watching i'm going to be seeing you in another one Bye bye